like one final point, my head almost exploded there with the point of cake. The mat. The mat. Uh, it isn't ha it's half the distance but not half the time because there's a huge factor of uh, money economy for the Well it's half the distance and 30 seconds. That's around what you should be looking at. So if you're 35 minutes, you should be looking at uh, 17 minutes. Which is weird, isn't it? I don't know what this is, I found this, just found this on the beach, it's like an old thing for a fire. Right, today's video is going to be real short, how to train for different distances. This will probably explain why most people eventually settle on the, uh, the marathon for the best training distance. It's getting late. I've been, I've been looking for, I was looking for a location all around here to film. Stuff making a point, isn't it? For sticking things out. Right, so different training distances, how do you train for your different distances? And how do you select the different distances that you're going to, what you're going to get into? Most people eventually will settle, most runners will eventually settle for a marathon. This video sort of explains that. Now I'm more of a sort of a gold, for fuck's sake. But you know, I've said it before, you want goals. You want your goals to fit your system, so you know, you don't... Don't just wake up one day and say, oh, they're going to be a you know, you find what you're best at and then naturally sort of gravitate towards that. Like I said, most of your running the mill runners, people who like, who like running, you treat running as a sort of uh, a lifestyle choice. That's how I treat running. You eventually settle on the longer distance, I'm here for So you want to train for the marathon, the half marathon, and all these different distances. This goes all the way down to 800 metres, middle distance. So middle distance, 800 metres. So this, this video has done to do with sprints, so you're a sprinter, turn it off, I have no advice for you of how to train for sprinting. Um, by the way, I notice that when I look away like that, it looks like I'm looking away from the board or something or I want to go. And I'm actually thinking. I know that when I'm talking to people, I probably do the same thing. I know like when I'm listening, when I'm listening to someone talk, I can be like eyeball to eyeball, like full on concentration, but when uh, when I'm talking, in order to think, I think this might be some sort of autistic thing, and why autistic people struggle to keep eye, eye contact, it's because we're thinking, that's what it is, when, when I look away I'm thinking, I'm thinking, right, so, you want to train for the marathon, half marathon, 10k, 5k, then we're down 5k, 3k. Where do I just half? Half, like 8k or 7k. There you go. So then you're down to 3k, 1k, one sorry, one and a half k. You got oh, you got the mile. But there's romance around the mile. Oh, the other as well. Marathon. Right, so marathon, half marathon, 10k, 5k, 3k, half, 1500 meters and the mile, same for you, 800 meters, right, that's down to your middle distance. You want to train for 800 meters, this is the best way to do it, you double your distance, you double the distance at the most, if, if, that, if, if, that, if you understand that. So if you're training for 800 meters, you don't want to be going beyond 50 meters. There's no reason. There's nothing to gain from it. Paradoxically, the marathon on the other hand, and this is why, as I said, most people settle on the marathon. If you're training for the marathon, this is how you train for the marathon. Let's say your goal is three hour marathon or four hour marathon. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You should be training for the half as well. And you should be training for the 10k, and you should be doing 5k, and you should be doing 500 meters. And you should even be doing the Here's why. That's why people settle for the marathon. It allows you to do all the different types of running, all the different speeds, intervals. You can go out for long days, you can go out catch you can go out for short, sharp days, you can turn up any race, go 
Whereas if you turn up, if your one tail is a 500 meter or an 800 meter, and you turn up to do a marathon, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna fuck yourself up. Like you're just not, you're not, you're gonna lose all your speed. You're gonna lose all of that. You won't be able to run as fast. It, it will, it will it'll take away your speed. So half marathon. If you're training for the marathon, you shouldn't be doing the half marathon. This is how you set your time. Um, so say it's a three hour marathon. I'm gonna say three because that's sort of where my mind is at where I'd be able to do it. Then for the half marathon you should be doing you should be looking at half the time minus ten minutes. So for me to do a three hour or sub three hour marathon and do it comfortably, you know, within a range of five to five to eight minutes or not to still sprint for the line just to get over that, under that three hour mark. I should be training for the half marathon minus 10 minutes. That's, so that's a 120. That's a 120. That's what I should be looking at for the half marathon. A 120 half marathon. Right. Now, let's say you're not a marathon runner. You're focused on the half marathon. Should you still do a marathon? Yes, for all of these distances, whatever distance you focus on, you should do double the distance. You should be willing to do double the distance. Except for the marathon, I don't think you should be doing 80 kilometers. Maybe you, maybe, maybe you want to though. Um, if you're training for the half marathon, you should do double distance. If you're training for 10k, I think you should do half marathon. And that goes all the way down to 1,500 meters. You should do 3,000 meters. If, you, if you're an 800 meter runner, and you'll notice that a lot of the time with the professionals, they do do, if they're an 800 meter, they're a middle distance runner, that's how they classify themselves, so they will do the 1,500 meters. They might even do 5,000 meters, even sometimes 10,000 meters. But that's more of a sort of progression thing as they're younger. Most middle distance runners, they start off the 800 meters, then the speed starts to go as you get older. It goes on to the, you go from 800 to 1,500 to 300. This is, why I, this is why I like the long distance running sort of focus because you know if, if your focus is if the longest distance you're willing to race is a half marathon which for me it probably is I've never raced a marathon I've never, I've never trained for marathons but with the half marathon again like the marathon it allows me to train for all different so if I'm training for the 10 if I'm training for a half marathon I should also be willing to do the 10k my time for the 10k again as far as it's about half the distance, so again, like half a marathon and a full marathon, you're looking at half of the time, 120, 120, half of 120, 40 minutes, 40 minutes, and this time you should be taking away about five minutes. So again, you've half, you've half, for the, from the marathon to the half marathon, you've got 10 minutes, and now you're taking off five minutes. So you should, I should be looking at a 35 minutes, 10k. And the same again. Same again for the 5k, half the time, 70 and 30. And then take away, what 5k time would be this distance? Um, 5k would be half the time and Most people are faster for the bike than aren't they? repeat session, not too hard, about 8 sets of 800 repeats. Whatever your time is in minutes, that equates to your time for the marathon. So say you're running it, so if I did a, if I did a set of eight, 800 repeats, I averaged 255 through 
for the, for the eight of them overall. That's my that, that that's my marathon time in hours, two fifty five minutes, two hours fifty five minutes. So that's why you should train for all the different all the different lengths for the marathon. That's why most people choose the marathon distance and allows them to, to focus on all the different all the different zones, the speed work, cardio, VO2 max, aerobic, you know, everything. You get to do everything. You get to do the sprints. Blah blah blah. Whereas if you're going to be down on the other end of things, 800 meters, you focus on 800 meters. You should train for the 1,500 meters. If you're a 1,500 middle distance runner, the, the further distance you should be going to focus on is 3,000 meters. 3,000 meters. First, first distance you should be focus on really is the 5,000 meters. Now I know most of the pros push their head. You've got to make money. You've got to make a living, don't they? As you progress, as you get older, you always get slower. So again, everybody eventually starts going from going from the middle distances to the longer distances of the marathon. I think that's about it, really, today.